Hey everybody, we're going to do something a little bit different today, because I've seen a clip going around and I really have the need to talk about it, so let's get into it. So I opened up Twitter the other day, because you know me, I hate my mental health, and I saw that IMDB posted something new. Since I thought it was going to be movie news, something movie related that I needed to look at, I decided to go check. First things first, I'm going to read you the caption, really get you hyped up. It says, and I quote, Ahem. <clears throat> Say a lot for the people in the back. Hashtag Seahawk. Hashtag Totiana Maslani. Did that make you cringe? That made me cringe. But okay, okay, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's go right into the clip. Heh, <laughs> here's the thing, Bruce. I'm great at controlling my anger. I do it all the time. When I'm cat caught in the street. When incompetent men explain my own areas of expertise to me. And I do it pretty much every day because if I don't I will be called emotional or difficult or might literally just get murdered so I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you oh copyright you gotta love it now the issue I have with this isn't with the fact that she is saying the things that she's saying it's how she is saying it and who she is saying it to now this entire spiel of dialogue is supposed to be a girl power moment, you know? They're trying to get me to sympathize with her because she's got to go through all this crap. And after being objectified by men and put down by men, she doesn't transform and just murder them like she has the power to do. So the first thing I want to do is think about the dialogue itself and the person it's coming out of. We're going to take Hawk completely out of the equation for a moment and just focus on the dialogue. Her dialogue makes her sound very self-centered. She is focusing on the things she is going through. Now the basis of what she's saying is that she specifically gets catcalled all the time. She gets passed over, looked down on, because of the fact that she is a woman. And she has to bottle up all that anger she feels because of that and not hurt the people that's doing it to her. Now, if she was a normal woman in society, that would be a lot of stuff that people could relate to. But she's not. She is a superhero. Women constantly have to just let things go because they're put in situations that they do not deserve to be in. And for their own safety and safety of other people, they have to just keep going on. Like, think of it this way. Here's an example. A normal person is walking down the road. A guy yells who is potentially dangerous, could be armed, could be anybody. You got a nice butt. The normal person would not yell something back, something to instigate some kind of conflict and make that guy feel like he needs to prove something. Because who knows who he is, who knows if he's armed, who knows if he has other friends around that are not going to help you, but help him. It's a dangerous situation and it's a call that most women have to make constantly. They have to make calls in situations that's being stuck between a rock and a hard place. If you bruise the wrong ego, there's a chance you might just end up dead or missing. But She-Hawk here is a literal superhero. There's not a chance that if she decides to react, that she's going to be put in immense amounts of danger. It's like the rich complaining about gas prices. Now, let's put my man Hawk back into the equation. Not even going to delve into his comic book backstory and the crap he's been through in the comics or the other iterations of him and what they've been through, we're going to focus solely on the MCU version of the Hawk. He's been hunted by armies, he's been hunted by the government, he's been put through who knows what in between. He has been looked at as worthless, he has been looked at as a monster, he has been looked at as an outcast, he has felt all those emotions himself. He has completely decimated all sense of self-worth and he's been fighting with the monster inside for years. Listen to this, if copyright doesn't decide to strike it down. Yeah, this is a team. Agent Romanoff, would you escort Dr. Banner back to his room? Where? You rented my room. The cell was just in, in case you needed to kill me, but you can't. I know, I tried. I got low. I didn't see an end, so I put a bullet in my mouth, and the other guy spit it out. So I moved on. I focused on helping other people. I was good, until you dragged me back into this freak show and put everyone here at risk. You want to know my secret, Agent Romanoff? You want to know how I stay calm? Dr. 
better. Put down the scepter. And that's the kind of person that she is belittling the trauma of. What this clip doesn't show, though, is the fact that right after this conversation, she actually transforms into She-Hawk. But in my opinion, it doesn't feel earned. See, this is controlling your anger. I could choke I could the choke life the out of you and you never change, change a shade. shade. Not this. Which brings me into my hot take. This clip could have worked. Now don't go clicking off and calling me woke trash. Let me explain. They should have handled this as a conversation with the two of them both speaking instead of one rant by one person. For example, she could have said, Every time I'm at work, everything I do gets overshadowed by my male colleagues because they're constantly looking down on me due to the fact that I am a woman. It doesn't matter how much work I put in, they never see me as an equal. And he could bring up this. It hasn't changed a bit. Did you know about this? You want to think about removing yourself from this environment, Doctor? <laughs> I was in Calcutta. I was pretty well removed. Loki is manipulating you. And you've been doing what exactly? You didn't come here because I bat my eyelashes at you. Yes, and I'm not leaving because suddenly you get a little twitchy. Then she could say, I'm constantly being catcalled, and every time I have to go outside, I have to be afraid that one of these days, one of the guys that I ignore are going to decide that they are going to try and make me pay attention. And Hulk could respond with, I was on the run for years, and I didn't have the luxury of knowing that since these guys catcalled me, they might be a threat. I had to perceive every man, every woman, everybody as a possible threat to me because I was being hunted. And then she could be dismissive of that in an attempt to hold her feelings back and then say something like, You? You have no idea how it feels. Every time I go into work, no matter how much work I put in, I will never measure up. I should be able to be proud of myself at this point. But every time I do anything, I am being overshadowed by my male colleagues in a job that I have poured everything into. You have no idea how it feels to work so hard to have some semblance of control and still not have control over your own life. And then Hawk could also respond to this by saying, I know exactly how that is. I was finally gaining control of the other guy. I was in a place where I could say that I was in control. And then this girl comes out of nowhere and causes me to transform without my consent, without my control, without my ability to make it stop. And as he takes a breath to say something else, she could interject with what makes her actually transform. Bruce, what I brought up are things that women go through all the time. I have powers. I'm a gosh darn superhero, Bruce. And yet I am not capable of making the change that I want to make. I am in control of my powers, but I am not in control of my life. Me having powers doesn't change the world that every other woman has to live in. So why do I get to have these, huh? Why do I have to have the other girl, as you would put it? What makes me so special? Why can't I do anything about it? I could beat the ever-living crap out of whatever guy decides to step to me. If I transformed and beat the snot out of them, would that make them think twice? Or would they see it as a challenge? Would it happen to more women, women that cannot defend themselves like I can? Because guys are just going out thinking, well, maybe this one might transform. Is that what I would be doing? There's nothing that I can do. I have superpowers, but I can't change the world as a superhero. When I'm not using my powers, I can't change the world in a courtroom. So what am I supposed to do? And by the end of that, she would already be transformed and she wouldn't even notice. See, if the conversation went down more like that, it would develop her as a character because the entire time she's talking, her tone would be changing. She would be getting more emotionally invested because she would feel as though Bruce isn't listening to her. As if he is the one dismissing how she feels by bringing up his own experiences. And this wouldn't break Bruce as a legacy character. In fact, he would be able to talk about things, open up just a little bit about things that happened within the movies, while also retaining the mentor role that they're trying to give him within the show by spending that time within that conversation pushing her to show her 
that she doesn't have as much control as she thinks she does. Now I am aware that within the context of the episode itself, the way that I worded the exchange between the two characters wouldn't necessarily work, since within the episode, She-Hawk literally says, I'm sorry, the idea of being a superhero is not appealing to me. But my point wasn't about reworking the clip for the episode, it was reworking the clip that was being advertised by IMDb. Just wanted to clarify that the She-Hawk that I was representing within my example was not the exact same She-Hawk within the episode. And within the last thing she's saying, I wanted the camera to focus on Bruce's face. The entire time, we just see his facial expressions towards what she is saying. So by the end of her point, whenever she is extremely distraught, extremely emotional, we can switch back to her and see that somewhere within that last line, she transformed. It would be not only a surprise to her, herself, but us, the audience. Because throughout the entire exchange, we saw her get increasingly emotional and yet not transform. So her point about being able to control her anger due to what she's been through would be more realistic. She would talk about the crap that she's been through, the crap she has to deal with, the crap that she has overcome and not transformed during that, and we would believe whenever she says she is in control. Then Bruce can give her that I told you so look that he gives within the show, and she can look back at him distraught, shocked, hurt, confused, but within the episode, she transforms back to a person immediately. But here, I want it to take a few minutes. I want her to have to simmer down first. I want her to have to reflect first. Because within the episode, her transforming back that quickly ended up taking away any sort of impact that the clip would have actually had. If she's capable of regaining her composure within moments, then Bruce's entire point of her not being able to control herself becomes mute. Harkening back to that Avengers clip from earlier, people were concerned about the possibility of Bruce transforming. That's how much weight having the ability to become the Hawk carries. So due to the destructive power that the Hawk has and the immense responsibility that comes with just the capability of being able to transform into him, she-Hawk transforming for even just a fleeting moment should have been carried with that same weight and have that same value put upon it. Due to how they mishandled this one 28 second clip, it gave a really bad representation of She-Hawk as a character as a whole. And it's bad representation for women in media in general. Female characters deserve better writing. I hope that I am fully aware of what you are trying to do when it comes to the character arc you are going to give her throughout the series, but that doesn't excuse the way you went about it. I put my initial thoughts the moment I saw that clip up on Twitter. I'll go ahead and link my Twitter down in the description. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope you appreciate me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and like always, have a great day. Thank you.